Welcome back, this is Stradius with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. And today we're gonna be playing the final game of the regular season 2026 uh, against the New England Patriots. I don't know what that sound was, probably me and my brain starting to work on the ending of that sentence. But it is a fitting end to, to uh, this uh, regular season that has really been fantastic for us. Because the Patriots were the first team that we played in this franchise series in, uh, I think it was episode two, if I remember it correctly. And here we are in the fifth season, going as strong as ever. We're through to the divisional playoff round. And uh, the uh, Patriots are trying to get into the wildcard round, so we might as well mess with their plans. Not sure if we can do that, but we'd like to give him a nice send off, right? We played them um, only a few weeks ago, and uh, it was a really tricky game. It was the only tie uh, that we got this season. It was as close as we got to a loss um, at Madden. Even it, and sometimes, and this has happened quite a few times in this franchise series, Madden bugged out um, in the New England games. Not sure why. Take a look at the score. We didn't score 20-20 in overtime. Uh, it was a really hard-fought match, and we couldn't get a decent win here um probably should have just gone for the field goal a little bit over time but i didn't do that so that sucked a little bit that was a problem on my part uh this game today i really want to have a proper send-off uh, out of the regular season for this fantastic team that we have and uh get a win against the patriots right that would be a fitting end there's nothing to do this week. We're just going to be taking a look at the roster of the Patriots, figure out if there's any key injuries uh, to key players and uh, do weekly strategy, player upgrades, and then we're going to be playing the final regular season game. All right, we know Mac Jones is the quarterback here. DJ Galilei behind him. I'm just going to be clicking through here. Damon Harris uh, fighting for Offensive Player of the Year with, uh, with Bijan here, of course. Alec Pierce is injured. I think he was last time already. Uh, there's no injuries so far. That would be really impacting. David Andrews at center. That might ease things a little bit. Um, so might be facing Daniel Cooper unless they start, uh, you know, shifting things around here on the offensive line. On the defense, I don't see any crucial injuries. Jalen Murray, okay, so but he's the back of Trey Hendrickson, who was hard to beat last time. He was very quick on us, and the defense just didn't allow a lot. Um, so we really had to fight very hard. It was a very scrappy game. Typically a game that I really like to play uh, because I like to play scrappy. But uh, yeah, not happy with the outcome. Would have really liked to have a perfect season. But uh, it was not to be against uh, the Patriots last time round. This time round, we're going to see what we can pull off, right? Um, so I'm going to be going with uh, these uh, settings here. We're going to be going with the splits here. We have, I think we have a return from injury, would, which uh, would actually be very, very nice, right? Well, we're going to focus on the run play again. Don't think that uh, we need to do anything. I think Francis Maui Goa is back from injury. And that is actually pretty great. That is a huge boost uh, for us. Um, I will be letting everybody train splits, but right tackle Francis Mawikoa might as well get some experience points after his injury time. Oh, it was him. It didn't let me choose another player, so it just sort of blanked him out. That was strange. But Francis Mawikoa, why does he have a question mark? Oh, because we don't know his development trait yet. All right, makes sense. I thought that was a sort of glitch, but whatever. We're going to sack the QB five times. 20 points or less works for me. 300 offensive yards might as well. And we're going to win the turnover battle. Let's be confident about this one. Defense. Training results are in. Now we can really uh, hope. What is this? Odafi away with an ACL sprain. All right. So we're going to have to reshuffle on defense a little bit. But that is not really a big bother for me. Offensive line is looking expectedly tired um, because we did go for a full pads training and also think that we might have had a short week but never mind about that let's upgrade the players looks to be quite a few upgrades Jevon holland our starting free safety gets an upgrade here he's a hybrid 26 years 
97 rated, fifth best free safety in the league. Brilliant stuff right there. Derek Stingley Jr., new addition. Uh, man to man is what we're going to be upgrading. After that, we're going to be putting points into the other categories. 25 years out of LSU. Bo Collins, such a fantastic touchdown last time. Going to put this in a playmaker. Get him. A lot of upgrades across a lot of core attributes, actually. Tyler Smith, let's add some more power. Look at the hair. Really like the hair textures because that really looks damn realistic. And that when Rab or Fullback also gets some upgrade points. That's nice. That's nice. I like him. Does a lot of blocking work. Eighth best fullback in the league. All right. We're going to take that. Uh, let's check out the roster. I think we need to do a few adjustments. Nothing crazy, but uh, I think it'll be necessary to just shuffle things around a little bit. So we've got Peter Skoronsky, you've got Tara Smith, JC Treader, Natana Muti. Then you've got Francis Maui Goa. I think I'm going to go with this setup here. There's uh, not really that much that I want to change. What about defense? On defense, all right, things are switched around a little bit. Um, I'm going to give Keanu Cole the start over there. I'm going to put Adam Awari at the left outside linebacker ahead of Kosioglu because Adam Awari just has the higher depth rate. And uh, Deshaun Womack, again, starting ahead of CJ Craig. Apart from that, we don't need to do anything. This is putting Greg Rousseau at D tackle. I'm still super, super happy that uh, I chose to do this um, because that is really, really such a buff at that position. Uh, I think we can weed out some players here at a later date, but Keyshawn Silver, to be honest, I don't think that I will be bringing him back. So goodbye, Keyshawn. Might as well get rid of the player here uh, from the practice squad. All right, with that said and done, uh, everything's prepared for the final season game. Let's head into this. And let's uh, prove that we can play well against the New England Patriots, even away. Gillette Stadium, home of the New England Patriots. At least it's uh, what it says here on the stadium itself. Uh, today, facing Mac Jones, 3,650 yards on the season, 23 touchdowns. Talia, I don't know how many touchdowns he had, but it must have been a bunch more than last season because he was really, really good. I can't fault him in any way. Helicopter flyover. And here we come. The away uniforms all white, turquoise socks, and the Patriots who are going to be lining up in the home uniforms. All blue with the silver helmets. Really like the clean look that they have. And as much as I rage about them, uh, they are really a team that uh, might have just, I don't know kind of like them it may seem boring but i started to like them when tom brady left so make of that what you will left hand side we're gonna go for a run here straight away the defense is really jam-packed it is gonna be super tight and i think that's gonna that's Carl dagger trey hendrickson with an injury on the first play here from our offense Great run by Bijan up to the 34-yard line, breaking a few tackles. And getting Hendrickson off that edge rusher's side is actually not even going to be something that I'm sad about. There we go. Basically, all I want to see is, uh, is us having a clean game. No mistakes, no errors, and no injuries. So there we go. 95 Mike. And I would really love to... Jesus, that was a quick stop here. I would really love to get a, get ahead as much as we can and then give some of the backup players time on the field. Oh, can I escape him? No, I cannot. Jesus, man. Number 18 coming across. Very nice tackle on uh, Bijan here. Number 11. And that is it, Eric Stingley. And I would have been clean through, save for that player. So very important by Dent here. Good tackle. One more rush for one yard, and we will have uh, Bishan Robinson. Truss activated. There we go. 
it is activated let's go with the mesh play here passing didn't work at all so back then i reverted to the run plays oh that was beautiful michael mayer just grabbing the ball heading away from the defensive uh, defensive player and uh, Chidobi Awuzi right there. Chad Muma was so good last time. Here almost with the slap away number 48. Let's see him here in the background. Inside zone run, left hand side at the 13 yard line. First quarter, 1 minute 32 we played. And uh, let's go. Let's go, guys. Well done. Maybe I could have gone more towards the outside. But uh, we're going to keep changing things up. Yeah. Bishan is breathing super hard. Do I go for something else here? Let's try with the four verticals. He's not the 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 uh, number one receiver here. But if I can get the ball to him, I will do that. First and goal. Halfback gut. Oh, he's dead tired, man. Slant spacing. Gonna try and go with Antoine Rab. And even breaking a tackle here, almost getting ahead, but losing two yards. It's just too much power. I think 98 is Christian Barmore. Well, that was a hard one. All right. What do we do? Uh, I think we're going to go with a stick. There we go. Good catch. Shalom Wall in the end zone. First touchdown secured for the Miami Dolphins here. And what is he going to do? It's going to be the Waddle, of course. That was a laser pass, man. Chad Muma not even reacting. We're down to the two yard line. So our defense really had to struggle to contain the Patriots. Notoriously hard to stop. But that is. Uh, what Mac Jones brings to the table. Hard hit here. Second and 10. Not getting anything. Um, hmm. Let's try a halfback stretch. Let's try and get around uh, the defensive side here. Oh my lord, that's a safety. <laughs> Trey Hendrickson. With a very clean one here. Bam, you know, just reaching through. Probably should have done something different here, but whatever. All right, we're at the 20 yard line here. Let's, let's keep moving forward, shall we? Bo Collins with a very nice route. Quick forwards, then a turn and then a catch for the superstar rated wide receiver. Well, there we go. Bam. Coach Tradius can be very satisfied with what his team is producing this season. And I mean, I'm not going to pat myself on the shoulder here, but it is basically what we've been working for very, very hard for five seasons. And there we go. Run to the weak side, but we do get it to connect with the player that we intend to get it to. 2 minutes 35 currently on the clock. I don't want to give the offense, uh, the Patriots offense, more time on the field. And whenever I see a defensive player here, there is just so much quality there. Josh Uchi is there. Hendrickson. Barmore. Yeah. A lot of talent. A lot of talent right on that defense. Certainly not making it easy for us. But we have so much talent on our side that I can't really even, you know, speak of uh, this being uneven. When you've got a team that is rated so high and we are so high, 97 offense, man. And that is a that is a median value, you know. It just goes to show the amount of quality that we have on this offense, even with some rookies, even with some uh, lower-rated players in there. It is just it's just that 
A lot of quality. A lot of talent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Again. Laser pass by Tali. And Chad Moom, of course, takes down uh, the, <laughs> the receiver here, but... And then again, what else was he supposed to do? Inside zone, left-hand side. We're going to go for a run play again. 63. Come across. Uh, I needed a block here. Not happening. Doesn't matter too much. We're going to get a field goal or we're going to get a touchdown. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. That was third and seven. <laughs> that was really close. We're going to go for an aggressive play here. Bench switch or Jamai Chase. Collins or Chase. That's what I wanted to say. And there we go. Bo Collins again in the end zone. And uh, he's really getting better. You can just feel him getting better. Similar to, uh, to Bijan. When, when he joined, he was already very, very good, of course. And the Patriots do get back at us with a touchdown 14 and 9 and you can see this is not over by any means there we go we're gonna let the clock run down i don't see see any reason to you know go for anything crazy here we're going into the half with a lead that is about as much as i wanted to get here I'm gonna run it inside and we're gonna defend the short passing and we're going to return it right. As I was saying, Bo Collins is one of those players. He joined us and he was already super talented. But then we just started evolving him more and more up to the 28-yard line. And with the attributes getting better, you can really... I mean, you, you just have to take my word for it. But I can feel him getting better and better. It just feels... Uh, more, I don't know, more snappy. Uh, he just feels way more, uh, way more responsive. Almost picked him by number 24. That was a super risky play. Yeah. That was super risky by me. Oof, luckily that didn't work. All right, here we go. Ah, I, I had hoped for him to get a shove on the opposing player. 14 and 9. I don't wanna don't wanna mess this up now. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Let's go for a let's go for a, for an underplay here. Looking for Waddle, looking for Bijan. There we go. Alright. Fourth and three. Probably the clever thing would be to punt here, right? Give our defense a chance to stop them again. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Jack Fox has been so good this season. Malik Muhammad and uh, Travis uh, Hodges Tomlins are the two players that usually are the first. Mac Jones and his offensive team coming out here. Come on, guys. Ooh, 14 and 15. And they take the lead. And as I always say, never underestimate the Patriots. Doesn't matter who's there. Doesn't matter who the players are. Oh, come on. Shove, shove, shove. Fight hard. And there we go. We push past it up to the 37-yard line. Bijan does well. And the Bijan was always a good running back, so there was no problem there. But when I started adding points into the power back option, I really started to feel the difference. When I started running, he was just able to shove defenders away, stiff arm defenders away, break through tackles. And he has so many broken tackles like this. And that is just what makes him so valuable. Because, you know, when, when he does get forward, I can always count on him to get at least five or six yards, and that is important. We're going to do some analysis later on, maybe. There we go. Hard shove, but we get a first down. Two minutes left in this third quarter. 
Let's go with a Z spot here. There we go. Oh, we're still live. Oh my god, I thought I was down. <laughs> okay. Gonna take the first down here. What happened here? I was down, wasn't he? Bam. Rolling? Okay. I don't know. Both knees don't... Uh, didn't seem to be down or whatever. Sometimes it's funny rulings. Also in real, real life games, you know. It's really strange sometimes to find out what is going on second and eight half back slip screen Bijan breathing hard all right mate you're gonna stick up with that gonna have to fight I need you now third and three we're gonna go with the mesh bolt now though Bijan is the number one runner I'm gonna be looking for my tight ends Mayer or Johnson to my chase if he gets free but it's going to be Mayer here. Picking up a first down. 15 and 17, Talia. This season has been so consistent. I can't wait to see how many yards he'll get on the full season. Halfback, quick base. DeAndre Swift. Got to be going for it here. Now we go like... Oh, right. That was not perfect, but okay. I miss Jared Patterson, man. Giant Patterson at center is just such a reliable uh, player. Bijan is rested again. And we're going to go to the left-hand side here. And we're going to break into the end zone. I think that is even good because it's very early in the fourth quarter. So if, uh, if we do manage to hold the Patriots now, which would be awesome... Just going to put that out there. Come on, D. And they stop him. Right. That was great. Four minutes, nine. It was also a quick stop, actually. So that is good. And now we're going to start. Start the plays. Let's get going. Here. All right. First down. And we are down. Four minutes. Tick it down in the fourth quarter. 22 versus 15. So we're exactly... We're exa Did we actually go... They went for the two-point conversion. The crazy guys crazy guys man slight curve inside are we completely safe hell no oh number nine. Oh my lord and that was a fumble no no why why did he fumble that one I thought he had trust activated oh come on man Ah, uh, that was unnecessary, but there you go. That is classic Patriots. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but I can just never have a normal game against them. It's either complete or utter madness. Things like this happening. Penalties. Kicking that field goal against the post. Probably not my best kick attempt oh, there we go good blocking oh that was awesome Michael Mayer coming across that is what he's great at keep an eye bam did you see that hit also in real life at Notre Dame he's just so good at uh, you know just clearing this the way for his players two minute mark okay Okay, what do we think? Do we think that the Patriots will be using timeouts now? Not sure. Let's go. 71. Shove back. Second and 10. That did not work. 24 is done open. They're just setting up so tightly again. There we go. Two players trying to get to grips with him. Two players manhandling Bijan. And I'm just trying to get him into the zone again. He must have dropped out of the zone for some weird reason right before that fumble. 
Injury timeout for Josh Uche. All right, that is probably good and bad at the same time for the Patriots because it saves them a timeout, but it costs them a player. And there we go. All right, this is a brilliant Bijan at his best. All right, we're at the 8-yard line. We did step out of bounds, so that was not fantastic, but a half-pack dive now. All right, my plan is... We're going to utilize the clock now. Or not. All right, I'm just going to go in. We are completely uh, stacked in terms of the momentum meter. And I actually wanted to waste time. I actually wanted to run into a tackle, but suddenly I was free. Hmm. Okay. Come on, D. Come on, D. Ah, they get back and they go for... They are equal again. God damn it, guys. That is insane, isn't it? Is there never a chance to just have a calm and peaceful game against this team? Yeah, can't push forward. Timeout called by me. We're at the 44-yard line. I just want to get this, all right? Can we just... Can we just not, please? They're going to be expecting us to go long, which is pretty obvious here. <clears throat> but I think the inside zone is the better choice. Right, they're adjusting. Come on, Bijan. Break through, break through, break through. And here we go. This is awesome. Well done, Bijan. Up to the 20-yard line with six seconds remaining. Do we go for the field goal? I think I have to, right? 38 yards. Wind is coming, and they're going to ice us. They are going to ice us. I mean, what I could do now is I could call a field goal. I could go for a run and immediately... And immediately call a timeout okay. after we snap it. Because then we can have a non-iced field goal, right? Does that make sense? So here we go. Take him down. I call a timeout. And that should help me have a non-iced field goal, right? So there we go. Field goal, Tyler Bass. Oh, but I'm iced anyways. Oh, come on. Can we please just get this? It's going to be slightly off towards you, right? But it's still going to be good. And that is... That is the win against a team that I've struggled with consistently throughout this this franchise series. I don't know if it's the playbooks that are just really non-compatible in terms of our offense and defense. I mean, whichever way you want to see it, or super compatible. But it's a worthy final game here. Super exciting. We get away with a win. Great stuff. You can see it here. Mac Jones, 300 yards, 56% completion rate, three touchdowns. We get two touchdowns, but 151 yards, 88% completion rate. Way better by Talia because we were just focusing on the run play so much more. Two touchdowns by Bijan. Tyler Boyd, top receiver. Michael Mayer, Bo Collins. Really, really well done, guys. Super important. Solo tackle leader Josh Uchi, total tackle leader Chad Muma, tackles for loss quite a few, S quarterback sack leader Greg Rousseau, Jalen Phillips, Keanu Cote, and then Emmanuel Ogba also chipping in, and zero interceptions on this game. So here we are, guys. We have just completed the final game of the regular season, the fifth season uh, with the Miami Dolphins, and we're going to be heading into the uh, playoffs next. Uh, that's going to be the next episode. I am super happy that we managed to get a win against this team. I mean, looking at the overalls, we really were expected to do that. But nonetheless, it was always going to be tricky, always going to be hard. And uh, yeah, I'm just super happy that uh, managed to produce this win for you. I uh, appreciate that very, very, very much that you're here with me, that you take the time to watch my content. If you like what I'm doing, drop me a like and subscribe. That just helps me a lot. And as always, guys, thank you so much for being here and see you next time.
Thank you.